Hello guys, this is Matrix Ray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p versus native PS2. I will also be doing some frame rate testing and show you guys the best settings for Secret Agent Clank. We are using a custom resolution of 2560x1440p native, 16 times the NASA traffic filtering, uh, mip mapping is on automatic, CRC hack levels on automatic, and we are using the half pixel offset special texture. You could use either of these three and it should fix up most of the blending issues in this game accurate date fast accurate blending basic texture filtering of display and fx aa shader are both on bilinear ps2 for texture filtering and direct 3d 11 keep in mind that opengl is a little bit has a few graphical glitches but it does fix up uh, a few minor shadow problems with clank but we're going to have to stick with Direct 3D11 since, in my opinion, this is the most accurate one. MTVU, so uh, this hack, if you have more than 3 cores, I have 8 cores, it's not really recommended. This game is very non-CPU intensive, it's pretty easy to run. So uh, you can turn it on if you want a locked 30 frames per second experience. If you're having some slowdown, this game does target 30 frames per second as well. So, um, I don't really need it on, but I'll leave it on anyway. This game targets 512 by 448. Here we go. So, this is Secret Agent Clank. I found a good spot to uh, show off this uh, comparison. This is a New Game Plus save file as well. And we're just standing right here to have a look in the distance. So, this is an extremely blurry looking game at native PS2, as you see. If you look at Clank... There's a ton of aliasing, and he's just overall quite blurry in, in general. If you look at the ships in the background, you can see that they look very blurry as well. If you go to native 1440p, you can see that the detail is a lot better. It's a lot clearer. The 2D background does show its age, as you see right there. But if you look at the 3D background, it looks, you know, pretty nice. It's not, it's not looking too bad. If I go back to native PS2 again, and then native 1440p native ps2 native 1440p just once again look at the shadows down here it's a little bit inaccurate but it's not too much of a problem and the blending issue is a minor issue as well as you see but it looks better than what it was when it was on off so if we go over here let's show you another section real quick i also want to mention that the huds are not aging great on this game I will mention why. So as you see, if you look on the outside of this here, where my cursor is, that's a 3D HUD element. So it looks nice and clear when bumped up to 1440p. If you look at this uh, fist thing right here, it's my weapon. Uh, that looks extremely blurry at because it's a 2D element. But if I go to native PS2, everything looks a lot blurrier. Even the 2D HUD right there. 3D HUD doesn't look all that great now since of you know native PS2. So if I go to the pause menu, go to my inventory, you can see that everything looks very, very blurry at native PS2. But if I go to native 1440p, you can see it looks a little bit clearer. All the 3D elements are uh, more clearer. But the 2D elements like the triangle, square, circle, and X are just a lot blurrier. And since this game was originally, originally made on a PSP, blowing this game up onto a 27-inch monitor, 1440p as well, it just does not age well at all. So that's unfortunate. Um, now, this game does cost around 1.1 gigabytes of video RAM as well. Forgot to mention earlier. And yeah, there's an issue right there. Uh, obviously, you're not supposed to uh, see them, you know, go invisible like that at this sort of resolution. If you got native PS2, it's probably harder to see that sort of thing. But still not the point. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.